Welcome to this week's edition of Mountain Outhouse. I'm your host, Jamil Curry. This is the crazy shit to happen in running this week. This week, we bring you all things UTMB Mont Blanc, a correspondent report from Chamonix, France, and when politics meets ultras. The theme of this week's episode is UTMB Mont Blanc, also known as the World's Fair, or Super Bowl, or Stanley Cup, or Indy 500, or the WWE Undisputed Championship of Trail Running. Our first story this week is featured in a new segment we are calling Jackass of the Week. We've all heard of distracted cell phone drivers, but will you believe this shit? This distracted cell phone walker plows into American mountain endurance athlete Meredith Edwards at the 95 kilometer mark of the TDS race. Edwards, who was running in second place of the 119 kilometer race, is sent on a collision course with this distracted walker. You've got to be kidding me. Team Nike once again made a strong showing at this year's race, placing third, fourth, and sixth at the full UTMB distance. Withdrawing early was this year's co-hard rock champ, Jason Schlarb. Heartbroken, Schlarb is left wondering, alongside this year's third place podium finisher, Tim Tollefson, how the Americans might one day top that podium. It appears they are patching a plan that just may make the difference. For this, we go directly to France. Well, let's just say North America needs to move up from third place. We need something to prepare North American ultra runners to, to show up to UTMB ready to rock and roll. And how do we do that? What's going to take us to that next level? The Jamil Jackoff. The Jamil Jackoff. That sounds interesting. Tell me more about this. We need a 120 to 160 kilometer race. A proper mountain race. And that's where uh, Jamil... It needs to be hard. <laughs> it needs to be hard, long, and... Wow, we can't wait for the details on that one. I'm sure it will make all the difference for the Americans in 2017. In this week's fashion trend, we go Euro style. This trend-setting piece has become all the rage in Paris, Milan, and London, as well as the finish line of UTMB. We bring you the 2016 Finisher Vest. We Americans are left wondering, what is the finisher vest all about? Why does it exist? Why don't we get one when we finish the Leadville 100 or the Western States? On the flip side, Europeans are left wondering, what the hell is the obsession with belt buckles? For a breaking story out of the UTMB Salon, we bring you Jam Jam. Hi there, Jamil. I'm here at the Salon in Chamonix, and we found the Bee energy. Energy, yeah. The bees and energy booth here, and yeah. they are using products with bee pollen in them. Exactly. And, propolize. and propolize and other bee products. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yes, in fact, we are, it's a family affair. We are not doing uh, importation. It's in the Pyrenees. It came from our beehives. We are not doing. Uh, That concludes our UTMB coverage for this year. Switching gears, we all know how important multitasking is in ultras. All while running, we have to eat, drink, update our Facebook status, and of course, film ourselves doing all of this. But one man has truly mastered the art of multitasking with his daily live show, Let's Paint TV. Hey everybody, welcome back to the live edition of Let's Paint, exercise, and let's make blended drinks tonight, and we're taking your calls. All these wonderful things that we can do all at the same time. For more on that story, we bring you Whiskey Man. Whiskey Man? Hello, caller. What is uh, your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, My name's the Whiskey Man. I'm from Silverton, Colorado. All right, Colorado, in the house. What's up, dog? Uh, what are you painting? Uh, it's a Jackie Chan. Karate chopping a microwave oven. 
<laughs> what movie is that from? I don't know. I'm not really sure. It, it, uh, I don't even know much about Jackie Chan. I just know he likes the karate chop stuff. Incredible stuff. Politics has truly infiltrated the ultra scene this week with two big stories. In a desperate attempt to court the ultra vote, Donald Trump has begun a tweeter storm on social media this week. We share one of the more puzzling with you now. Trail runners are filthy. They're filthy. Many of them are also alcoholics. They run in the mud and drink too much. That I will tell you. I have no idea what you're talking about, Donald. No idea. No idea at all. Not to be outdone, Alaskan Sarah Palin took it upon herself to find a new niche in the ultra scene with her dramatic creation of the sport rock running, which combines extreme head injuries and babbling incoherent nonsense. We hope next year she decides to put her name in for the Mount Marathon Lottery as she seems tuned up quite well. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week. If you have stories to share, tweet us at Mountain Outpost. Have a shitty week. Are oh, you rolling? Yee hee! Oh! Uh, is this too shiny? Uh, <laughs> it's break. Baby, that's what I've been waiting for. Dear God. <laughs> I just broke my face. All right.